Hello everyone! Good evening! And live na po tayo. Good evening, Laurent! Hi, good evening. <laughs> good evening. Good evening. Yes. Hello, wala pa tayong viewers. Wala pa ba? Okay, wala pa. Sige. So mag- Mag-share muna tayo. So, para live na. Mag-share muna natin. Yes. Okay. Ah. Oh. There's one. Hello, good evening po. Kung sino ang online. Saan saan? mag-shout out. Welcome to Truly Rich TV episode number 10. Yes. Antay lang po tayo and... Sige, antay lang. Saan ba? Hello. Hello. sa akin. May nag-comment sa atin, si Mr. Ian Quezon daw. Hello, Ian. Magandang gabi sa'yo. Nice you are talking. from where, Ian Quezon? Ipakita mo, ipakita mo. Pakita mo sa screen. Okay, so, show natin. Yeah. Hello. Hello, Pogi. Oh. Familiar? Familiar yung face niya? Kaya niya namibigay <laughs> ng laptop eh. Parang siya. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Sige, mag-accumulate muna po tayo ng viewers. Okay. Yes, sila yan. Right. Share po tayo, share sa ating Share po natin mga yes. nakalari yung share mo. button so we can bless more. Magandang gabi po yes. sa inyong lahat sa mga latecomers. Hello from Miss Rosie Enriquez Aldabe. Pagkasaan po sila, Ma'am Rosie. Magandang gabi po. Ayan. Comment po, comment, like, and share. Okay. Yeah. Moment po tayo. <laughs> Hello kay Roxanne. I miss you at Sheila daw. I miss you too, Roxanne. <laughs> Good evening, Miss Lisa Borja. Hello po. And Pakita mo sa screen. Pakita mo sa screen. Click mo. Yeah. Yeah. Hello po, Miss Lisa. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and Miss Mar Maribki Villamore, good evening. Hello po from Cebu. Hello, hello, hello sa inyo. Hello, maganda gabi po ng lahat. Yes. Maganda right. gabi. Ano man tapos natin ngayon, Miss Sheila? So, Time sa mga nanonood pala. Yes. Ano, sa mga nanonood. Share nyo, uh, sa mga friends nyo, tag nyo sila. Yes. Because ang topic natin ngayon, Miss Sheila, anong topic natin? Exciting po ang ating topic natin for tonight. That is how to determine your financial standing. Kasama po natin ang ating Sir Laurent na medyo expert po sa topic. So, ikukonsulta natin siya. <laughs> so, in a while, mag start na po tayo. So, ayan, dumadami na ating viewers. Thank you, everyone. Good evening po sa inyong lahat. Welcome to Truly Rich TV, episode 10. Thank you very much. Thank you po. Alright. So, I guess from... Las Piñas, may nag-hello? Pakibasa naman, Sir Loran. Kapit-bahay. Uy, kapit-bahay ko from Las Piñas sa Miss Glenda. Kapit-bahay, no? So, ingat tayo, ha, sa yes. coronavirus, ha? So, south, maraming yes. Chinese dito sa South, no? Sa Paranyang. <laughs> yes, extra care po, yeah. Be careful. Kumusta Ay, naman po ang South, Batangas, Laguna, and Cavite area? I hope. Everybody is well, well. Yes. Wala na po yung usok, ano? So, level 3 ba tayo, Sir Laurent? Or... Uh, wala, wala nang ano, wala na yata. So, for 9 minutes, no? So, good yes. minutes na. So, Sana tayo siya forever, okay? So, dami. What, what a January. But, of course, yes. we need to we need to face our, di ba, ang buhay natin. Kahit na ganun, ganun agad yung uh, binigay ng January of 2020, di ba? Yes, so, there is something that we cannot control. So, meron pa tayong mga ganyang fortuitous event. Uh, and uh, all we should do is pray and, of course, be prepared. So, That's why, mga, no? yes, nandito mga, po no? tayo palagi yeah. every week just to remind you a few things, especially uh, regarding your finances para every Wednesday po nare-remind tayo and somehow yeah. we can execute something. Okay, yeah. I'm excited. So, let's start with our topic for tonight. That is how to determine your financial standing. So, let me start with uh, for an, yes. Comment. Yes, comment po tayo. I'm sorry. Yan. So, yan. Dumami pa na. Okay. Topic, papos yung topic, machine. Yes, let's Can you uh, type? Okay. <laughs> Create po tayo ng banner. How to 
Yes. Habang nagtatype ako ng topic, pwede mo silang kwentohan, Sir Loran? Yo, no. So, dito kami, through the Rich Club, no, remain positive for, despite of the problems na na-encounter natin, yung January, January 2020 is very, ano ba nangyari? Yung Taal, uh, yung mga earthquakes sa Davao, uh, of course, yung coronavirus, Kobe Bryant, di ba? Oh. <laughs> so, Sobrang si, fan, Sir Lorenz. So, yes. Siyempre, basketball fan tayo. Eh. Yun yung kinalakihan namin dati, no, si Kobe Bryant. And, Uh, sobrang ganda ng story niya kasi despite of very inspiring uh, dis- kasi nag, ano, siya, eh, nagkaroon siya ng downfall before eh. so naridim niya yung sarili niya kasi nas, na, na put siya into a scandal uh, before uh, pero naridim niya binitawan siya ng Adidas binitawan siya ng ibang endorsement niya but uh, he redeemed himself and ngayon di ba, na, na ano niya kumbaga nag make up siya with his wife kasi ang nangyari nung nagkaroon siya ng affair sa iba. So, na, na, kumbaga mo yun siyang tawad, naging okay ulit sila ng wife niya, tapos naging okay siyang father sa mga kids niya, sa yes. basketball community, sobrang bait niya kasi. So, yun. Um, mga kalungkot. But, of course, yung sa Afghanistan din, di ba? Yung nag-crash yung airplane. So, ang dami nangyari. Yes. Or January, naman, kakaiba yung January po natin. Kami yes. na, meron namang earthquake, 7.5 na from... Uh, yes. And pwede mag-trigger ng... Uh, so, so, yes. anong man yun sa yes, Cable really. Islands, no? Tama ba? Doon ba? Yes. I forgot uh, gano'n. <laughs> I forgot also. So, so anyway... Marami yung kababayan doon kasi marami tayong mga accounting... Mga, usually, mga accountant namin na mga kakulig namin, mga CPA is doon pumupunta sa mga sa mga Cayman Islands, yung mga ganong country kasi in demand yung mga CPAs doon. So, maraming Pilipino doon. That's why narinig ko doon nga sa mga friends ko na accountant. So, hopefully, safe yung mga kababayan natin doon sa earthquake, no? So, yan, yan. Yes, okay, so, okay na sila. Alright? Yan. So, again, good evening to everyone. Let's start with our topic para po sa mga excited na. Are you ready with your pen and your paper? So, somehow, meron po tayong nililist down na insights from us, Lauren, Janisha, mm-hmm. and me. Again, I am Sheila Martyr. We're happy to serve you and to give you some informative uh, insights about financial. Yeah. Thank you pala sa mga sumusubaybay. Thank you for uh, yes, thank you very being with much. us every Wednesday night. So then if you have any topic suggestions if you have if you have any comments na gusto nyo, just message us here sa page na to para marinig namin or okay. as we go along with our discussion please do comment yung mga questions nyo. lagay niyo lang diyan yes, sa comments Yes we appreciate that. comments and questions po We'll answer and if you have any insights again we do not know everything no Yes to po yan kung meron kayong mga comments or meron kayong additional inputs na makakatulong sa amin and sa mga viewers natin. Viewers. So everybody can learn. Opo. Open yes. po tayo dyan. Any information that you want to share, go, go, go lang. Yes, okay. Yes. So let's start. How to determine your financial status. So ganito po yan. Say for example, let's start with an analogy. Magilig po tayo sa analogy para po naintindihan natin agad-agad para i-simplify po natin kung paano natin papakinggan or i-absorb lahat ng learnings for tonight. Say for example, you want to go somewhere. So, Sir Lauren, anong gusto mong place? Example lang. So, example, sa... example sa, let's say, sa Tagaytay, no? <laughs> so, Tagaytay, unfortunately, no. but... Eruption doon. Okay But, na, okay na. So, yes, okay, na. Yes. okay na daw. Say for example, wala pong eruption. So, Sir Laurent wanted to go to Tagaytay. Tagaytay so. so, Sir, kabisado mo ba yung direction going there? Siyempre, parang ah, sabi ko na. Siyempre, ano, uh, hindi ko masyadong kabisado, no? So, yes. that's why gumagamit ako ng mga apps. Ako, ngayon, Good. very dependent na ako ngayon sa, sa mga apps. Kasi hindi ko na alam kung ano mga, kung, minsan kung alam mo man, but of course maganda kasi may apps updated sila with traffic situations, if there are any closures. So that's why masyado ako yung, sabi nga nila, in a ways we trust eh, diba? so Yes, ang ganda nun, yes. You, we want to be certain on our direction, that's why we need apps like Google Maps and Waze. Yes. Sobrang yeah. popular po yan. I think everybody has that app inside your mobile. So yes. meron din po yun. 
So your destination, Sir Laurent, is Tagaytay. And you have your ways. So, galing ka sa saan lugar? <laughs> Near to Tagaytay. Yes. It is Las, Pinas. Las Pinas. So, ganito po yun. Ang current status or standing location ni Sir Laurent is Las Pinas. That's his status today. In relation to financial standing, yun yung kasalakuyan na estado niya sa pagdating sa financial. And he wanted to go to Tagaytay. So, yun po ang kanyang financial goal. So, how will he go to Tagaytay through app or through Waze and Google Map? Ganun din po yung service natin. So, we wanted to guide you para po hindi tayo lose direction, para po guided tayo, makakarating tayo sa paroroonan. So, since we are talking specifically for your financial status, there are five things to consider. So let's start now, Sir Laurent. Let's start with considering your asset. So paano po natin malalaman kung okay tayo sa ating buhay pinansyal? So you have to consider first your, your asset. Sir Laurent, I guess. Oh, sige. Kasi, kasi na, uh, applying no, our illustration, our story, kanina, we have destination. Same thing with when we create our financial plan. So may mga financial goals tayo na kailangan. At the same time, let's say, kung gusto natin, gusto ko magkaroon ng, uh, let's say, uh, uh, 3 million na bahay. Gusto ko magkaroon ng 5 million na retirement fund. So, those are destinations. Yun yung tagaytay natin. Pero, saan ka ba manggagaling? Di ba? So, ako, kunyari, uh, let's say, gusto ko magkaroon ng 3, uh, 5 million na bahay. Tapos, meron na akong ipon. Let's say, 2 million. So, 3 million na lang yung kailangan kong i-travel. Di ba? Yes. O pag-ipunan. Same thing with Let's say, paano pag you're going to Tagaytay also, gusto mo rin ng 5 million na bahay, pero you're coming from Bulacan or Pampanga. Let's say, if meron kang 100,000 pa lang na ipon. So, mas malaki pa yung iipunin mo. Or mas malaki, mas mahaba pa yung travel time na gugugulin mo. Same thing with, that's why we need to determine no, our financial standing right now. So, yes, mas madali yung, yung diniscuss natin uh, past week, di ba, yung mga financial goals. We want this, we want this uh, travel fund, we want this uh, itong fund na to para sa dream business natin. Pero saan ba tayo magsisimula? Ano ba yung meron tayo ngayon? Kasi uh, we may have uh, same financial goals, no? Sabi ko nga, baka gusto natin ng same 5 million na buy or 3 million na buy. Pero syempre iba yung, pinagsis iba yung sweldo mo, iba yung sweldo ko, iba yung pinagsimula natin kung kano na naiipong ko before nung nag-start ako magtrabaho. Iba rin sa'yo, baka kakastart mo palang magtrabaho. So again, it's very important na alam mo kung saan magsisimula. That's why ito yung topic natin ngayon is knowing your financial standing. Kung ano ba yung kung ano ba yung meron ka ngayon. So, it's very important kasi, di ba, pag nagnegosyo ka, may inventory ka, meron kang, kumbaga, nagdilista ka, ano ba yung mga damit ko, ano ba yung mga inventaryo ko, ano ba yung mga sapatos ko. Same thing with your financial. Dapat meron kang listing or meron kang tinatawag na, kumbaga sa accounting, balance sheet or meron balance kang... Balance sheet, yes. yes. Take note of that, guys. Balance sheet. So, ano ba yung balance sheet? So, it, it shows your financial position. So, hindi po siya technical, no? Kasi baka narinig nyo, hindi po ako accountant, eh. Pero it's very applicable for for every individual, especially for for you, if you want to achieve our financial goals, no? So, sa mga nag, nagkatrabaho sa gobyerno, familiar na sila dyan, salin, no? Lahat ng public service uh, servants, no? Required to file uh, salin, statement of assets and liabilities, no? So, same thing with balance sheet. Ganon din yung tawag sa kanya sa in a more formal way. So, ano ba yung una? Asset. No? Ni Sheila, asset yung unong part. Yes. Yung, kung baga, maraming, parts, eh. maraming parts kasi yung balance sheet. Eh. So, first is the asset. Ano ba yung asset? Ano ba yung asset mo? Siyempre, pag diba, tinanong ko, ano ba yung asset mo? What's your yung best asset? asset? Pag, opo, pageant, diba? Oo, oh, so, iba. Ilong, 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 ilong ko ba yun? <laughs> Kung ano ba yung asset, best asset daw yung pinakamaganda sa mukha, ay <laughs> sa katawan. Parehas lang po sa financial yon So, what are your assets? So, oh, for one, ano yes. Bala mo, di ba? Kat, uh, katangian for physical, pero sa dahil finances ang ating pinag-uusapan ngayon, ano yung kayamanan mo there? So, yes. what are your riches? So, yan po ang 
number one na asset natin is do you have your house, your money, your car, your investments, and dami po niyan. So you have to list down all your assets. Bakit po natin ina-identify yung assets natin? So mamaya makita natin why we have to identify the assets. So, maganda, rin ba? Talaga. maganda rin talaga kami nung monitor mo yung assets mo eh. Kasi uh, yes. actually, actually no, uh, the real for for ano for business person for finance person for finance people we measure wealth talaga not by income no Correct. You, you, you may you may you may ask uh, you may brag na i'm earning 100,000 a month 200,000 a month pero yung asset mo or yung yung net worth mo no tinatawag na financial position talaga is uh 10,000 lang pala or uh, 20,000 lang so it doesn't matter yung income mo. So ganun ka importante. Even the richest man in richest men in the world, no sila Warren Buffett, sila Tesla, no sila Bill Gates, they are they are measured no not by their income. They are measured by their net worth. So that's why it's very important kung ano yung dinidiskus natin ngayon. It's it's how you compute for your net worth, no? Computing yes. for your assets, liabilities, no? So, to determine your net worth. Kasi doon minimeasure, guys, yung sila Bilyar, sila Henry C, doon sila minimeasure net worth, not by their income. That's why it's very yeah. important, even for us, sa magisimula pa lang tayo, maliit pa lang yung kinikita natin, maliit pa lang yung assets natin, ganun ka-importante. Yes. All right. Well said, sir. So, bakit kaya first factor is asset? Idadagdag na rin po natin yung binanggit ni Sir Laurent kanina. That is, second is liabilities. Yan, magkakalig po yan later on. So, bakit namin binabanggit to? Itemize. So, first, you have your asset, yung mga ari-arian natin. And then, we have our liabilities from the word liable. What are you liable to? So, andyan na po pumapasok ang ating mga utang ano pa ba Sir Laurent can you help me with this about liabilities no. yes so, so ano uh, balik ako lang Sheila no kasi baka magulo ang sila assets eh so assets means okay. of course example lang no so yes. if you have a if you have piece of paper uh siguro you can write down while we I'm discussing this or we're discussing this siguro gawa ka lang uh, yes o mag-open ka ng excel no pakita mo lang yung assets mo what are assets these are your properties no so pwedeng personal properties House and lot, kotse, jewelry, furniture, no, uh, savings and investments, no. If you have investments, yes. bonds, mutual funds, uh, receivables, no, na collectible, no. So, etong mga to, asabi nung iba, sir Laurent, ano ba surat ko? Yung acquisition cost ko o yung market value? So, kasi di ba nagbabago yan? Let's say yung stocks mo naggain na pala, or yes. yung kotse mo nagdepreciate na. So, ano yung ilalagay mo dun sa amount? Paano mo siya i measure? So, sa accounting kasi, what we do is the market value. So, ibig sabihin ng market value, kung ano yung value niya ngayon. Pag binenta mo siya, ano yung value niya ngayon? Pag niliquidate mo siya, ano yung value niya ngayon? So, that's the market value. So, yun yung ilalagay mo dun sa amount. Not the acquisition cost, uh, not, not the acquisition cost or not the uh, cost na in-acquire mo siya or binili mo siya. So, hindi ganun. Kasi nga, pag, katulad nga ng kotse, pag bumili ka ng kotse, Next year, less 20% yan. Depreciated na yan. Less year, next year, 20% off na naman. So, ang isusulat mo yun, the depreciated cost or the market value. Pag binenta mo na siya or niliquidate mo into cash, kinonvert mo into cash, that's the market value of na isusulat mo dun sa amount na yun. So, again, personal okay. property. Yes. It could increase. House and lot, mostly it increases. Car, usually nag-decrease yan. So, Savings, yan. Savings, nag increase yan, usually, di ba? Investment, stocks, mutual funds, educational plan, nag increase din yan. Uh, life insurance, usually, it increases din. Um, retirement savings. So, those are the examples of assets. So, maraming assets dyan. Basta, pwede mo siyang ma-liquidate into cash. Those are assets. Yung ba, magtatanong sa factors. Kung mabibenta mo siya. Kung mabibenta mo siya, and significantly, malaki yung value niya, you yes. can include them. Siguro, you can... Uh, you could have this uh, ano lang, limit lang, let's say, na pag 5,000 ab above, isusulat mo sa assets mo. Pag below 5,000, siguro wag mo na isama sa assets mo kasi mga minimal na lang yun. Kasi baka mamaya, pati yung mga pinggan nyo, isama nyo. So, 
Ano lang, mag-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i
Yes. Lalo, lalo na ngayon, January pa lang, you can start. Pwede kang umabol. Uh, lista mo lahat ng assets mo, liabilities, uh, and get your net worth. And then for the whole year, no December 31, 2020, no, balikan mo itong as by net worth mo. So that's yes. the basis kasi. No? So that's the goal din. Uh, Mark Cuba, nila, Bill Gates, yun yung goal nila lagi is to increase their net worth. Kasi yes. nga, yun yung basihan eh. Basihan talaga yun. So, yan, parang salen. Tama, tama. So, actually, that's the salen talaga. So, doon nahuhuli. Yes. No? Yung mga study, <laughs> yung mga hidden wealth. No? Yung mga, doon nahuhuli yes. kasi kailangan mo i-declare lahat as government. Declare, yes. So, at least meron tracking, so, may monitoring from so there. You What, see your ano improvements. Uh -oh. Yes. So, ano, ano, ba, ano ba yung mga objective ni Sheila? No? So, napakadali lang assets minus liabilities equals net worth. Again, our objective yes. is for you to increase it at least 10% a year. No? So, yes. so, meron po tayong mga key ratios yung tinatawag. So, if you wanted to be coach how to get that formula, Actually, simple lang naman, pero baka ma-overwhelm kayo sa information. So, paano ba ito, Sir Lawrence? So, paano oh, ba? Medyo, ano, medyo yes. complicated to. Complicated so, po. Advanced so, na po yun. Uh, sa mga TRC members, I think we discussed this. So, we have a video, yes. intensive video training for this. But basically, uh, yung mga current assets, current abilities, basically, dapat yung mga, if ever, mag, kasi sa, tinatawag tayong liquidation. No? So, if ever na kailangan mong bayaran lahat ng utang mo, current, current payables mo, ano ba yung meaning ng current payables mo? Those are dues that will be due for the next 90 days. No? So, yes. pag kailangan mo siyang bayaran, 90 days, within 90 days. So, those are your current liabilities or current payables. So, pag lahat ba ng binenta mo na current assets mo, kaya bang bayaran lahat ng current liabilities mo? Those are the key ratios lang na kailangan mong tignan. No? So, yeah. All right. So, learning, learning so far, guys. I hope so. So, may then, nakikita pa natin. Bio. Yes. So, if you have, Do you have any, any inputs, go lang po yung mga no. ating accountants sa uh, ano, audience natin. Okay? Sige, basahin natin. Si sabi ni yes. Eugene, uh, yung kay Eugene muna. Eugene, okay. Uh, Labayo. Hi po, hindi po sana ako advice. Last Saturday, po kasi umatend ako yes. ng seminar sa SMX. What I'm worried about my monthly insurance, do you think kailangan ko na yun i-give up because I want to fall on stock market? And I've heard na may package insurance yung TRC. What do you think? So, ako, I would advise, depends, no? Kung um, siguro, if i-assess mo muna kung kaya talaga ng sweldo mo yung pambayad mo sa insurance, kasi may mga insurance talagang ma mahal, eh, di ba? May mga insurance talagang mahal. Siguro you could Ah, uh, si Michelle expert Jan, you can message him. <laughs> uh, may mga affordable insurances that you could get na hindi ka tatagayin, na hindi sobra-sobra yung babayaran mo. So, may pwede mo siyang pagsabayan. Si so, nga uh, ako ay ad advice na i-assess mo what's your uh, excess cash flow allocated for Correct. your insurance yes. and for your income and then from there, siguro paghatian mo, hatiin mo sa Unang-una, siyempre, emergency fund. Second is, yes. uh, you could start sa pagsabay mo na, pagsabay mo na yung insurance mo and your investment in stocks. You could do it separately. Again, the insurance, you could get a cheaper or affordable insurance. Uh, you could, uh, pwede ka mag-canvas. Di ba ginagawa natin niya? Pagbibili tayo ng kotse, pagbibili tayo ng mga, pagbibili tayo, yung lowest interest, di ba? We do yes. that eh, di ba? Canvas, nagka-canvas tayo. So, we could do that also to your insurance kasi uh, yes. you can message Sheila Martir, no? Si Miss Sheila, magaling dyan. Yes. <laughs> Hindi naman po. So, we just know something. Right allocation, that's right po. I-allocate natin kung ano yung kaya nating invest. And number two is the pricing. So, ano po yung kaya nating or ma-afford nating ibayad na premium. At the same naman para hindi po tayo, para hindi masyadong painful yung ating mga uh, binibigay ng mga bayad. So like, you, you, are, you are already Sir Eugene, no? a member of TRC. So sabi niya rin kanina Sir Laurent, meron siyang package na insurance. That's right po. So you already have your own yung... yes. oh, kaso, kaso, uh, Minimal yes. lang. Konting-konti. Assess mo din kung, yes. uh, kung 100,000 is yes. enough for your insurance. So That's if you have dependents, I think hindi siya enough. If yes. you have dependents, no? kung 
kung may nagde-depend if you have a family, hindi siya enough. No? So you have to assess then. But again, you can get uh, cheaper insurance, affordable insurance. No? Uh, canvas lang, ask me Sheila. So, pwede mo pagsabihin yung stocks mo at insurance. Kasi nga, may mga mahal yes. talaga insurance. Eh. Uh, ako, na, na, na-trap din ako dyan before. So, yes. Uh, I mean, well, sabi niya, I don't think I can pay my insurance and stocks at the same time. Tama naman po yun. That is if you are paying too much po. So, yun po yung sabi ni Sir Laurent kanina. Kailangan balance lang and alam natin yung amount na binabayaran is just enough for us. And at the same time, yung coverage na nakukuha natin is also enough. Sir Eugene, don't worry. Uh, maybe let's get in touch since TRC member oh, na po sila. We will help you. May mga yes. ano yan, tama sabi ni Miss Rosie parang sa LN, yes po, no? So yes. so Cornetina na din din. Yes. Uh, homework Cornetina, game. Cornetina, hello. Uh, yes. Created value, yes, tama yan. So mostly homework cage, yan, yan, nililess yan sa mga market value ng bahay natin. So mostly kasi house and lot hindi mostly ah, nagtumataas value niyan, no? So ang land kasi walang depreciated value yan. Mostly yung yes. bahay lang. So magkaiba po yun, yung bahay, yung value ng bahay, iba yung value ng lot. So, but in accounting, yes. wala kasi depreciated value yung, yung lot. So, yes, it's important that we know the difference po kung ano yung mga kinukulong. So, tanong lang kayo, okay. so para masagot namin, uh, take advantage na kami ni Michelle. Ako, being an accountant, no, ba, talagang medyo familiar talaga ako with yes. this balance sheet income and statement. our FP at the same time sir Lorenzo oh, medyo you nung know, it's almost everything puro balance sheet kami so yes. sa yellow worksheet pa yung ginagawa namin kahit natutulog pa yan alam po niya yung numero <laughs> <laughs> so anyway going back so there you have to identify your asset of course and then identify your liabilities yes. from their asset less liabilities you have your net worth now Ms. Sheila and Sir Laurent, paano ko malalaman na wala ang ating kasama? Na paano ko i-start or i-protect lahat ng assets and liabilities ko? So, nasaan si Sir Laurent? No, there, wala, wala ka. <laughs> okay. So, there, I'm, I'm just saying na kung paano natin i-protect lahat ng assets. So, there should be an asset protection. So, ano po yun? Paano ko papangalagahan ngayon this time? Michelle, yes. may tanong si Ralph po, how to become a member of TRC? Okay. Sino po? Si Ralph Dibwit. Gerald. Gerald Dibwit. Okay, anyway, so how to become a member of TRC? Ilagay po natin yan. Punta lang po tayo sa yeah. website na to. Rich so Club you can, to. yes. So you can become a member by going to that website. Sobra pong user-friendly ang ating website. Step-by-step step po yan. Then there, makikita nyo po lahat kung paano siya. Going back to our topic, Sir Laurent. So asset protection. So yung mga questions nyo, again, just question type pa, Question, down. question. Okay. We'll, Later, we'll, we'll, balikan po natin. Uh, balikan namin yung mga questions nyo. So type nyo lang dyan. So let's continue the discussion. Okay, so there, asset protection, nabanggit na po namin actually kanina with uh, Sir Eugene's uh, question. So, paano ko pagsabay yung stock and insurance? Yun po yung key term doon, life insurance. Life insurance is for uh, people, from the word life, pagbuhay. Ngayon, paano natin proprotektahan ang assets natin? Di ba assets, walang buhay. That's why it's called non-life insurance. So, lahat po ng mga... Uh, assets ninyo, pwede nyo i-list down and ito ba, pwede kong lagyan ng non-life insurance? Sir Laurent, explain mo kung bakit importante ang non-life insurance. Yeah. Oo, oh, so, kailangan bahay, yun. Bahay kotse. Katulad, oh, katulad nun, di ba? Katulad what not happens sa undoy, yung mga calamities yun, na nangyayon. So these are for three to seven. No, sabi nga namin sa yun, may mga, yung mga term na yun, for three to seven, acts of God. So hindi natin masasabi yan yung nangyari kay Kobe, di ba? Yes. So, kung hindi naman sa pag of course, may life insurance yun. Paano pag yung helicopter mo, walang insurance, di ba? Yun so, po yung life insurance yeah. helicopter, okay. Sayang din yun, di ba? So, those are, those are the, ano, so we need to protect them. Uh, it's very important kasi unang-una, pinindar mo yun, pinaghirapan mo, Correct. binili mo yun. Eh, what if nga, uh, because of acts of God or fortuitous events, accident, eh, 
masira or mawala sa iyo paano yun di ba so alam mong lugi ka naman nung kung magbibili ka ulit or pag-iipon mo ulit what if these are very valuable high priced assets no so those are very very important so again you will uh, uh very important chan list down your assets uh let's say sa kotse we have uh di ba non life every year di ba kailangan yun especially if may warranty pa yung yes may warranty pa yung car mo, kailangan na insurance yan. So, pag nabangga ka, may makulit na motor, may, may, <laughs> may masabi, masanggin ka, so, kailangan mo talaga. Kailangan mo yan. Uh, let's say, yung nangyari nga, yung mga calamities, no? let's say, I don't know if covered yung mga nasa buwi ng ashfall, di ba? Kasi what if hindi nasira yung mga makina nun, or, di ba? So, those are for Twitter events na kailangan protektahan mo yung mga yung mga assets na very ano very valuable. Yes, para po hindi nababawasan yung asset natin. Say for example, nag-iisa ng kotse mo yon tapos hindi pa hindi pala insured. So, pag nasira or natabunan ng ng ash, hindi naman agad masisira pero somehow ma-depreciate yung value. So, yun mga examples ko natin kanina yung mga real-time kwentos like yung helicopter ni Kobe coaches na natabunan ng coaches plural mga coach na natabunan ng cash ganyan so when is the best time to get an insurance ang sagot po diyan is the best time to to when to get an insurance is when you don't need it so, hindi <laughs> naman pwede na kailangan ko na ng ano helico ay ng insurance ng helicopter ko sabi ni Kobe so hindi po pwedeng ganoon so you have to prepare beforehand. Para po pagdating ng bagay na yun na hindi natin ine-expect is ready tayo. At least we prevent a loss. So there, I hope you're learning so far. And yun, may comment na naman tayong bago. So any questions regarding uh, paano po makalculate ang gains ng mutual funds? So mutual funds naman. Well, uh, Simula tayo sa taas, Michina. Yes. Simula tayo sa... So, saan ba dito nag-stop? <laughs> Kay... Yan, Judith Acero. Judith. What is Judith? <laughs> Judith Acero. So, what do you say yeah. about pro-life's insurance policy na may savings at the same time? I mean, the policy covers life and critical illness, but at the same time, they invest some of the money which it's, which we can take out at any point. So again, uh, there's no, we cannot comment on that kasi hindi yun namin pa na-evaluate yung pinaka-plan. Siguro you could message me, Sheila. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Or, so, so para kailangan po kasi ng complete assessment dyan eh, para maaral um, po natin lahat ng tanong ninyo. Okay? So anyway, very good. yes. No. You can ask me, you can send your personal message po para ikaka-coach namin kayo. Alright? So there. Si Judith, uh, Judith ulit. Is there a t-shirt? Okay, ano sige. Judith. Ayun. Is Ito there pala. a TRC team in UK? So may nag-message siya. Uh, nag-co, nag-question ulit si Miss Judith. Sa baba, Miss Sheila. Is there a TRC team in UK? So, malapit na po. <laughs> malapit na. Malapit. Ah, by the way, hello Sir Marco, kung nanonood ka. Team daw sa UK. Pero meantime po, you can email support at trulyrichclub.com if you have an inquiry to make. So, yun. Email lang po tayo noon. Worldwide naman po yun. Mahahabol or masasakop pa rin po niya yung anuman tanong niyo. Regardless of area. Taga UK po ba sila? Si Miss Judy. Yun. So, sabi ni Ralph, Yes, si Ralph naman sa baba ni Miss Judith. Okay. By joining TRC, matututo po ba ako on how to start a business? Kasi at may age plan to start a small business and planning for my retirement. Yeah, we have uh, we have wealth strategy. So one benefit of having, uh, you know, of joining TRC is aside from stocks, eh, basically ang focus kasi for gold membership. No? Kasi we have tiers, no? we have levels of membership. So gold, Diamond and Platinum. So gold is basically for financial planning, sa mga starters, uh, yung mga bago pa lang for financial literacy, mag-invest, mag-invest pala sa stocks. And then for diamond naman, ito yung mga gustong mag, mag-start na, talaga mag-business. And for platinum naman, ito yung mga scaling. Kung gusto mo talaga mag, may mga business ka na, na gusto mo na scale, so nandiyan na yung mga mentorships dun sa platinum member yon. 
sa platinum level. So for gold, if you're joining and be a gold member, yes, you can have you can uh, learn know how to start a business. Because we have this one of the benefits is the wealth strategies newsletter. So may mga articles don nila din paks lapid nila brother Bo na minsan they they talk about business. So yes, you can learn how to start a yes. business. So again, if you're ready, you no, know, you can you can always upgrade or uh, go to the platinum or to the diamond uh, member uh, level. You no, know? so hin talaga. Okay. All right. Uh, okay. Si Ama. Si Ama. Yes. What's the question? Si Ama, paano po magkalkulo ng gains mutual funds? So miss nila. <laughs> mutual funds po kasi when we say mutual funds there are three categories so bond fund, balance fund and equity fund so short term, somewhere in the middle and then long term um, depending po it's varying po yan depending sa market price, market update so hindi po natin uh, exactly makukuha yung calculation so parang it's varying po. It's in, yes, it's like uh, stock market. Actually, stock market po, mutual fund. It's an indirect stock market investment. So, sir, sir or ma'am, ama, uh, let's get in touch para pag-usapan po natin sa, la, sir Laurent, maybe you can answer. Oh, paano mag-calculate? Yes. Basically, uh, so, oh, kasi depende sa, yes. depende sa ano eh, per unit gain acquisition. Yes. Cost. So, let's say, let's say you acquired uh, 1,000 units at 1 peso. 1,000 units of mutual funds at 1 peso per share. No? So that's 1,000 market value. Ngayon, yung market value niya, nung in mo siya kasi 1 peso pa siya, di ba? Nung in after a year, 2 pesos na siya. So 1,000 shares times 2 pesos, that's 2,000. So ang gain mo, ima-minus mo lang yung acquisition, acquisition cost mo, which is... Uh, 1 peso kasi from 1 peso naging 2 peso siya so ang gain mo is 1,000 ah uh, 1 peso diba times the units na meron ka or shares na meron ka so that's your gain so usually nagtataas lang yan parang parang sa bahay diba na acquire mo siya at 2 million to next year pag assess mo sa uh, pag appraisal mo 3 million na siya so you gain 1 million peso so same thing with stocks or mutual funds you acquired it let's say at uh, 1 peso, ngayon 2 pesos na siya. So, multiply mo lang kung ilang shares yung meron ka or units ng meron ka ng mutual fund. So, yes. times the gain na na, na acquire mo. So, for the yes. example, 1 peso, di ba? 1 peso to 2 pesos, that's 1 peso gain or 100% gain, di ba? So, that's your that's how you compute basically. So, i-minus mo lang yung acquisition cost mo per share minus the market value nung per share yes. nung mutual fund or stocks na yun times the shares na meron ka. Yes, so varying po talaga siya. Hindi pwede yung price kahapon is the same today. So different. So it's important we should accumulate number of shares. So ganun, simple lang po yung katulad ng explanation ni Sir Loran. So there. Okay. So, so yeah, where are we? Yes. May comments pa ba tayo? Yeah, and make make questions for next. You can you can ask a lot of people if you're a member. You have you have access. Yes, yes sir. You can ask a lot of people. As chaka ang apala pa kahit gold member ka, we have this new program yung Hadel, no. So yes. you can you can meet positive like-minded people there. So we conducted uh every ano ba yon, Yes, we have this upcoming gold Hadel po February eight. Uh, it will be in Quezon City para po exclusive to sa mga TRC members. So we will be giving you email update kung saan po at anong oras. But definitely that will be on February 8th. So I hope lahat po ng mga gold members na bago, you can attend there. And then we will have this Q&A portion. And then we will give you what's new with TRC, kung paano po natin ima-maximize yung membership natin. Alright? And of course, maganda rin doon yes. networking. Again, yes. uh, may mga Get business, ano yun, positive, like-minded people, mostly uh, entrepreneurs din. So, you know, uh, you can exchange ideas, parang networking siya na, hindi networking. So, 
parang ganun. Yes. When we say networking, kasi baka ala nila. <laughs> so, ano, networking is just like um, communicating with some other people na gusto nyo pong makakuha ng different insights from there. Um, where you can grow. Na, yes. Not na MLM, ha? Networking yes, means to hindi network with people. Uh, yes, network. Okay. Gold Huddle on February 8th, 40 RC members only. Specifically, gold members. So, we have different uh, membership uh platforms po kasi. We have gold, we have platinum, but for gold huddle from the word gold, gold huddle exclusive for TRC gold members. So if you want to join them, join us, then become a TRC member. So kung gusto nyo pong maging TRC member, just go to www.trulyrichclub.com Okay? Oh, there, we're almost done. Yes. So, yes, we identified we identified your asset first. We identified your liabilities. And after deducting your liabilities from your asset, you know already your network. So after your network, paano ko pro protect ang assets ko? You have to protect your assets. Asset protection po yan. And now, most importantly, ano po yung mga key takeaways natin ngayon? So what are your action to take? Action that needs to, um, to improve? Ayan. Sagutin yeah. natin yung mga questions nila. Questions mo na. Okay. So, si Mark Earl Tabinas, no? Mark regarding Earl Tabinas, insurance, regarding insurance, what should what we, should we get, get first? Life insurance or health insurance? Alin po ang mas importante sa dalawa? Parehas, Sir Earl. So, bakit parehas? Kasi you will protect yourself, that is health insurance, and then you love your family as well, so you need to get life insurance. So sabi nga nila, life insurance is something you get not for yourself, but for your loved ones, specifically your family. So paano po natin i-consider? Yung iba sabi niya, meron na akong life insurance. So ano po ang unahin ko? Okay na po ba ako sa life insurance? Huwag na yung health insurance. Then baka meron na yung sa company eh. Usually sa company, you have your yes. HM, di ba? So you yes. can supplement it with uh, health insurance, no? So, mm. kasi iba yung HMO, no? Iba yung HMO, iba yung health insurance, iba yung life insurance. Yes. So, so can, iba po yun. Healthcare uh, is different from health insurance. Nagulat uh, sila. Pagkaiba po yun. So, syempre, iba pa rin yung life insurance. Sometimes, it is bundled sa mga offer po ng mga life insurances. Meron pong ganun. Just be careful kung ano po yung coverage ng bawat isa, kung mga riders na tinatawag natin. Again, so, sir, so, uh, so it's 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 pareho sila importante uh, yes. wala walang you cannot rank it based on uh, yes. and, uh, kasi depende pa rin sa iyo kung ano yung siguro check mo you, you, you can have the criteria kung ano yung affordable agad na kaya mo siguro yun yung kunin mo agad so and then uh, pag medyo nakaluwag yung kunin mo na rin yung isa but uh, pareho silang importante uh, if you have HMO Siguro, unahin mo muna yung life insurance kung may HMO ka, di ba? And then, pag medyo naka-okay na, get health insurance naman to support your yes. HMO or healthcare. Yes. Kasi mag iba sila. Siguro, we, we will have a different topic for that. Yes, malapit na po abangan natin. That's why we are here every Wednesday hmm. para itapagpon natin lahat yan. Judith, sabi niya, is email better or FB Messenger to communicate with TRC? I reach, I, I reaching out before, but I did not really get. Wala po bang, dito po sa page namin, you could message us or email as, uh, email as at support at truly.com. So, oh, ulit na lang, Ma'am Judith, baka kasi po natabunan or hindi po na send pa ulit na lang po ng email surely they will be answering your inquiries so okay. si Jun si Jun naman si Jun manim 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 team manim team so, how Hello, much is the membership for TRC uh, we have okay, mag- po sa website mag- nandun po lang www.trulrichclub.com so we have yes. different plans so di- different uh, kung ano yung yes kung ano yung package na gusto po ninyo nandun po lahat so it's different. Okay? Okay, Miss Jun Benigno Fag. Sir Lauren, <laughs> kailan po kaya magkakaroon ng TRC seminar dito sa Rome, Italy? Uh, Hello, no, Sir Marco. 
<laughs> Sir Marco po makakasagot yan. Tanungin natin next week pag meron na po siya dito. <laughs> sir, so libre po ba accommodation? Pupunta kami dyan? <laughs> Joke lang, Sir Benigno. Sir, soon, malay nyo. Yes, we'll get there. We will go to Europe. <laughs> okay. Next question. Good evening. Kumuha po kami ni Mrs. ng insurance with investment in the stock market ng isang bank. More than one year na po. Oo, kami nakakabayad. But past two months, di na po kami nakakabayad. Mariretrieve pa ba ang account namin, Sir Laurent? Uh, perfect one. Kumuha po kami, ng, kami ni Mrs. ng insurance with investment sa stock market. Yes. Sa so, ano eh, uh, yun yung yun masakit dyan. Kasi hindi lahat po mariretrieve nyo. So, meron yes. kasi natawag tayong current, ano tawag doon? Current value. May tinatawag doon eh. Kasi, it happened to me. Yes. So, fan value, sir. Fan value. Fan value eh. Current, forgot no. Basta may current value. Yeah, sir. <laughs> so, it happened to me, no. I paid before, when I started siguro, ten, nung start ako mag-work, kumuha agad ako ng ganyan. Uh, I paid almost 70,000 na year eh, pero nakuha ko lang kalaha, less than kalahati. Around 30,000 lang kasi nga, sobrang medyo mahal. Hindi ko rin kaya before. No? So, uh, yun, may nakuha naman ako, pero you can ask for the current redemption value. Yun, parang ganun, redemption value. So, you just go to your bank, your agent, and then if you want to redeem it, you can redeem it. But again, don't expect na it's 100% of what you paid or what you invested. Kasi nga, may kasama siyang insurance. So you're paying for the insurance also. Kasi nai-invest din po yan prior. So parang hindi natin pwedeng i-withdraw. That's why uh, hindi po liquid ag- lagi ang mutual fund investment or stock market. Okay? Pero pwede siya i-withdraw, pero meron tinatawag na current ano. Redemption yes. value. Kung Matagal lang, po. Yes. Kung ano lang yung present. Uh, kasi nga, di ba, hinahati yung pera mo. So, yung sa binayad mo sa, sa insurance, hindi mo na talaga ano yun, hindi mo talaga makukuha yun. Yung binayad mo lang, yung, hinati, yung hati lang dun sa insurance, yun lang yung makukuha mo based on market value, redemption value. Okay. So, uh, may, may mga tanong dito, how much, uh, pag-ibig, MP2, better than corporate bond or retail treasury bond. Uh, parang pareho lang sila, ma'am. Depends on your preference and def- depends on your... Parang pareho lang yung mga rates. Parang rate of return nila. Uh, these are safe investments. Ah. They give higher investments. Long term to mga to. Higher than time deposits and savings account. But... Uh, mostly the same yung mga rate of, rates, rates of return nila. But if you're, if you have long term, uh, long term of investment, kung baga, mahaba pa yung invested mo, I I would choose stocks, stock market na lang. No? So, kung ganyan. Kasi mostly yung corporate months, medyo safe, sobrang safe nyan. Malit din yung return mo. Pero, uh, yun. So, kung if you could risk more, if you have long Long years to invest, I would suggest go for stock market. Okay. Uh, si Kim, ano po bang best mutual fund? Index po ba? Index fund means yung collective, no? We have, tinatawag tayo na index fund na yung 30, top 30 ng corporations. Doon minimeasure yung, yung, yung index, no? PSE index, Philippine Stock Market Index. So may mutual fund na nagmimimik or nag kakapi or naka-base doon sa kung sa top 30 invest uh, companies na yon okay so ang best mutual fund um, you can join to the rich club so we have recommended we have recommended yes. uh, mutual funds but the top mutual funds out there are Phil Equity, ATR Gaming so marami maraming ano diyan maraming uh, and for me no for me I've been there I've been advising mas importante sa akin yung discipline and yung consistency regardless of the fund na pipiliin mo. So, uh, again, there are many top performer then you can you can check uh, PIFA. PIFA ba yun, Ishila? Yes, PIFA. Uh, 
Association of, I forget. They, they yes, have PIFA, PIFA. Uh, PFA, they have their websites. Uh, you can check the top performances or the past performances of these mutual funds. You can choose there. And again, sabi ko nga, marami mga galing doon regardless for me kung ano mga pili, piliin mo. But again, if you need guidance, we, we have recommendations inside True Lillage Club. But the most important thing is the discipline. No, 80% of your financial investment success depends on your discipline and 20% lang kung ano Kumbaga, yes. that's the Pareto principle. How so, consistent you are. Consistent yes. Consistency. So, uh, right. and you and Gold Hadel. Uh, ah, hindi natin pwedeng i-disclose po kasi hindi lahat TRC members. Don't worry, lahat pa ng TRC members, meron tayong meron update through MLE. Yes. So, uh, you will get the, the venue and the time. So, surprise po namin sa mga hindi pa TRC members. You can join so you can join the Gold Hadel. It will Maybe be on February. Yes. Okay. Si Lori, uh, sige, sagutin natin quickly yung mga tanong, no? Yes. Naghintay sila, tsaka nandyan sila. So, sagutin na natin. Okay. So, Lori Lynn, sabi niya, may kaibahan po ba ang mutual fund sa index fund? Wala po. Yes. Uh, index fund is a type of mutual fund. Mutual fund. So, mutual fund kasi maraming type yan. Index fund, stocks fund, bond fund, balance fund. So, iba-iba po siya. Ano pa yung right. next question? Nawawala sa akin. Yes. Question ko mo, ay, ito, tapos na tayo. Yeah, meron pa ba? Yeah. Si Alexander, merong opinion, Sir Laura. So, nice topic, nice topic. po. Aside yeah. for, for points I mentioned nyo, I guess nakatulong din ng to determine financials, ang tao, if alam din nila kung aggressive or conservative. Yeah, yeah. Yes, uh, you yes. Can assess if you're aggressive or conservative na naman. Uh, before you invest actually in mutual funds or stock market, sa application form, no, merong uh, risk assessment na tinatawag. So, ma-assess mo doon kung risk taker ka ba or risk averse, no? So, yes. you, you can check those questions, no, if you if you try to invest to apply sa mga investments uh, in sa mga mutual funds sa stock market, may mga risk assessment questions na binibigay sa atin kasi it's required and mandated by law na kailangan na ang ibigay lang sa yung investment let's say for equity kung kung risk taker ka no so may mga ganun kasi requirement all right so, siguro we'll, we'll, have, we'll have that topic in the future okay di discuss pa natin yan okay yeah. from so, miss gens di mohammad question po meron po kami life insurance one year po kami nakakahulog ng baby ko so paano po if hindi ko na ituloy may makukuha po ba kami ni Baby from that? Yun, uh, so, parang kanina po, nasagot na, uh, but so, ulitin meron po natin. Meron I, I, I assume, no? I, 99.9%, no? So, I assume na meron yan kasi nga, especially if your plan is meron kasamang investment uh, part, yes. no? So, again, the fund value, may makukuha po kayo. Meron, so, pero minimal lang po yan. Minimal yes. lang po yan kasi mostly yes. talaga first few years, majority niya napupunta sa insurance. Yes. Binabayad natin sa insurance. But we so, have to clarify as well, Miss Gens or Jens, na may dalawa pong klase ng insurance. That is term life insurance and BOL. So pag term life po yung nakuha nila, wala po tayong makukuha kasi you're just paying for life insurance. But if it's bundled with mutual fund or stock market uh, investment, meron po somehow. But since one year lang po, very minimal. Okay, ma'am Gens? Okay. Alright, Miss Rosie. So see you on the gold huddle. So parang excited si ma'am Rosie. I-announce po natin yung venue and time. Okay, si Sir or Miss Gret Lane na kod am. Sir, okay po ba mag-invest sa mutual fund kahit hindi monthly? Definitely, the answer is yes po. Kahit hindi monthly, but ma-appreciate nyo po yung gain if it's consistently uh, uh, being, uh, magta-top up po tayo. So pag meron tayong additional investment monthly, okay po yung progress natin in the long run. But still to answer your question, pwede pa rin po kahit hindi monthly, kahit quarterly, semi-annually, annually, depende po sa inyo. Okay? So maganda talaga you do it consistently. Consistent kahit maliit po. lang. Kahit maliit lang. Uh, mas maganda pa rin na meron kang ano. 
Okay. How much is the minimal amount to be able to start investing in the stock market? As low as 1,000, ma'am, Norma. 1,000 pesos lang po you can start investing in the stock market. Okay. So, again, Truly Rich Club is here. Pag member po sila, um, igagayd po namin kayo what stock that you should buy. So, you know, mm -hmm. with your 1,000, again, sabi ni Sir Laurent, okay po yung minimal to start 1,000, but it should be consistent. Take note of that. Okay, so hala, mabilis po ang one hour. Dan na tayo. Pero ano pa po yung mga comments ninyo bago natin i-end tong show natin. And we will be excited on our next uh, episode that will be on... Dan, 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 dan. Yes, Truly Rich TV episode 11 will be on February 5, again, 8.30 p.m. So, surprise po yung next topic. I hope to see you all there again. Huwag po silang magsasawa. And we still, of course, we hope na marami po tayong natutunan. And before we forget, tomorrow will be the gold call, 7 a.m. Ulitin po, Thursday, 7 a.m. Varying po yung ating schedule. That will be January 30. Brother Bo Sanchez will be updating you uh, with our stock, stock market updates tomorrow. Napakaaga po. Sino po ang early for, birds? This yes. is for Tulu Rich Club members. No? Members lang po tayo. So, yeah. so again, okay. of course, the huddle, no? the huddle. Uh, yung gold huddle natin. So, yes. wait for the announcement. See you then. Yes. So, yun po. So, there. Thank you very much. I hope you learn a lot today. Really hope you learn a lot today. And gabi na po. And we're saying good night na. Thank you. Maraming maraming right. salamat. God bless right. everyone. Bye. Bye-bye. God bless.